Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to derive width of PN junction depletion region. So here, if you observe, this is depletion region and it is having width as per WP plus WN. So here, I will be deriving equation of width of depletion region and that equation is very essential in solving problems based on PN junction. So before you see this video, I request you to go through my last three videos. One was based on electric field at PN junction. Second one was based on how to have a calculation of cutting voltage that is also referred as potential barrier. And third video that is based on energy band diagram of PN junction. If you see those three videos, then it will be very easy for you to understand how to have a derivation of width of PN junction. See, in my last video, I have explained you how we can calculate electric field. So, first, you need to have electric field to have a calculation of cutting voltage and from cutting voltage, we can derive width of PN junction. So, in my last video, I have explained you, you see, electric field that is happening like this. So, here again, I am not repeating it. I am just taking it directly. See, electric field will be happening like this, right, as we have seen it in my last video. And value of this electric field, value of this electric field, that will be Q into Na into Wp by epsilon, that is equals to Q into Nd into Wn by epsilon. And it is having negative value. Why? The reason is we are considering this direction as a positive, but electric field is happening in this direction. Right. Now, once you have this electric field, Based on electric field, we can have cutting voltage. How to have a cutting voltage? See, you should know this basic relation of electric field and voltage. So, cutting voltage that we have derived, but here just for graph, I just want to explain you how cutting voltage is there. And based on graph, we can easily understand how we can have width of PN junction. Right. So, voltage over here cutting voltage that is V0 and that will be integration of electric field with respect to displacement and this should be negative, right. So, minus integration E dx that is what cutting voltage. Now, here electric field is negative. So, negative, negative that will get cancelled and it will be positive now over here. Now, if you want to have integration E dx, then simply what you need to do? You need to do calculation of this area. So, this area is integration E d x. So, what is this area? So, this is triangle. So, for a triangle area is area is half of base into height. So, what is this base? Base is width w. So, let us consider that as w only. w is w plus w n into what is this height? Height is this, this or this, any one out of this two you can consider. Let us consider Q and A W P by epsilon. So, Q and A W P by epsilon, that is what? This area, right? And that area is this cutting voltage. Now, if you want to plot this cutting voltage over here, then see in Many books you will be observing, it is plotted from here, right, like this. And in some books, you will be observing, it may be plotted like this, right. But remember one thing, see this voltage is relative, means with respect to this, over here, what is the voltage, that is how it is getting plotted, right. So, if you consider, this end as negative, then you can plot it from here. And if you consider this end as 0, then you can plot it from here, right. I am considering this end is negative, right, as negative ions are there. And see, if you, if you want to calculate this cutting voltage, then that will be integration of this electric field. So, if you do this integration, this shape will be like this. And the value that will be relative value that is this which is V naught that will be happening based on this calculation, right. 
Now, see, based on this V0, we are dealing with to derive equation of this W. Here, if you observe this value of V0, so this V0 is based on W and WP. So, first, I need to represent this WP in form of W so that we can have this equation in form of W and at last, we can have final equation. So, let us represent this WP in form of W. You see how to do this. W is WN plus WP. And I total with this WP plus WN. If you observe my last video, in that I have explained this relation as per charge neutrality. WP NA that is equals to WN and D. Right. So, let us consider that over here. See. WP NA, WP NA that is equals to WN and D. Now, I wanted to have WP in form of W, right? So, what I'll do is I'll be representing WN in form of WP over here. So, what is WN? WN is WP into NA divided by ND. Now, if you place this in this, then, then you will be having, then you will be having W that is equals to, you see, WP into NA divided by ND plus WP. So, now we can have WP in form of W. So, that will be, you see, W into ND divided by NA plus ND, right. So, now we are having WP in form of W and that we can substitute in this V0 equation and we can have relation of W, right, in form of V0 and NA, ND and all those parameters. So, let us say this is equation 1 and let us say this is equation 2. So, let us substitute this 2 inside equation 1. So, I have substituted the values, right. So, this will be my equation. Now, I just need to represent this W as a main term, right. So, now you see what will happen. This W that will be W square will be, you see, this 2 epsilon that will go on other side. So, 2 epsilon divided by Q into this potential V0 into Na plus Nd divided by N A and D. Right. So, now you will be having W that is square root of that is square root of 2 epsilon by Q into V naught into N A plus N D divided by N A and D. That is how we can calculate this. Now, you might be having question like how to have a calculation of V naught. So, V naught calculation that I have already explained in my earlier video, you see, V0 can be calculated by multiple ways. If you are having concentration of donor impurity and acceptor impurity, which is Pn, right, divided by intrinsic concentration square, that is how you will be having this. And if you don't have Pn and Ni in this way, then you can have this V0 in other way even, where V0 will be Kt by Q ln of majority carrier of one side divided by minority carrier of other side. See, that is how also we can find this V0. So, there are multiple ways by which you can have this V0 calculation and that you will have to substitute over here in this equation and you will be having W value. So, this is a major equation that you will have to remember, right. This is a major equation which is based on width of depletion region, right. So, up till now, I have explained five formulas which you need to remember for solution of problems in competitive examination as well. One is based on width of depletion region. Second is based on, second is based on maximum electric field. Third is based on charge neutrality that is WPNA is equals to WNND. One more is there based on cutting voltage that is this or it may be they are based on this data, right. So, that many things that you will have to understand to have a solution of problems. 
in future coming videos i'll be solving so many examples so that will give you confidence regarding how we can solve problems in competitive examination as well as in university examination till if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video